All right, quick overview of what is being uh, shown here. This is my constant current source that can be controlled by pulse width modulation. Pass transistor, this is a current meter. Let's look at the rest of it, which is the center of this video. Those two 10 ohm resistors are connected in parallel to produce a 5 ohm load. This is an op amp amplifier circuit whose gain is controlled by this feedback potentiometer. It is reading the voltage produced by these two resistors that form a 0.25 ohm resistance. It's in the ground side of the load. That voltage is amplified and I calibrate it to the uh, current produced. If you look at the meter we saw earlier, the one with the red display, they both display exactly 350 or 340 or so milliamps. I could read this by reading these resistors, processing it through an amplifier. The Arduino reads the voltage output from the amplifier, does the appropriate multiplication, and so forth. If you watch the meter, and I'm going to read it off the red display meter, I'm setting at 1.06 amps. Well, it says 1.03. Pretty close. Let's go to 2 amps. I'm at about 2.06 amps. That's about 2.98 pretty close. Let's go to 3 amps. Yeah, pretty close. And so forth. I could calibrate it right on with whatever. Now I'm going to set this for a limit of 2 amps. Now I'm going to take this pot that's connected to the Arduino which is all the way on and I'm going to go ahead and control the voltage out based on pulse width modulation. Yes, this will read the pulse width modulated high current produced by the constant current source. If you watch the change in the potentiometer, you can see corresponding changes in the uh, output current. Let's pop it on up to 2 amps. Remember I put a limit of 2 amps on it. So if I crank it all the way up, it's going to be 2 amps. That's my limit set by my control on my board. Alright, next we'll take a look at the code and the schematics. Oh, well, by the way, this voltmeter is connected to the input of the analog to digital converters on the uh, Arduino. It's setting at 2.13. If we move back down to the other display, it's setting at around 2.1. All right, you're viewing the electrical connections to the Arduino. Other than that, this shows being connected to digital pin 11. I use digital pin 9. The rest of it is all the same. All right, here's what we're dealing with. This is the other end of the little constant current source circuit I've discussed elsewhere is I have placed this resistor 0.25 ohm, that's the two parallel 0.5 ohm resistors, in the ground side of the load. As the, either through the Arduino or the onboard control, adjust the current through the load,
there is a small voltage drop across this resistor. At 1 amp, it's going to be 250 millivolts. At 1 amp, at 2 amps, it's going to be uh, 500 millivolts and so forth. This voltage is coupled through a 4.7K resistor and a 10 microfarad capacitor that in case you're using pulse width modulation it changes it back to a DC voltage that is amplified by an LM358 op amp. This is set up as a non-inverting voltage converter. The gain is set by this uh, potentiometer R2 and the gain is determined by R2 divided by R1 and so the gain can be set from 1 to 10 based on the adjustment of R2. What I generally do is the little red digit amp meter that you saw in the video in the live video I'll usually set that up to know what the current is and then I will adjust the voltage through R2 to be equal to that current. Again, this is basically a current to voltage converter setup, which then goes to the Arduino analog to digital converter. Hmm. All right, let's look at the Arduino code. I've set it up to output the data to an LCD display using the I2C setup and also to the serial port at the same time. Depends on what you have. You can comment out the LCD if you don't have it. If you have an Arduino compiler, you do have the serial monitor. Okay, the pulse width modulation pin in this case is 9. Pot is defined as analog port 0. Analog 1, which is going to be my converted voltage, is 1. And I defined an integer analog value and set that to 0. I initialize serial port. I initialize the LCD display. The first thing I'm going to do in the loop is read analog zero. That's the uh, pot. It's going to be pot value, and I'm going to send this over the serial port. It's going to print the uh, pot value equals and whatever the analog value and a backslash n for a carriage feed line return. Then I'm going to write that value, divide it by four to the pulse width modulation for pin 9, PWM pin. All right, to finish this off, I'm going to, do an, I'm going to analog read the uh, voltage coming off the LM358 circuit. I'm going to write it to uh, line 1. Well, actually, it's uh, column 0, line 1 on the LCD display. I'm also printing it out on the serial port. And I'll take that analog value, which is an integer, and I multiplied it by uh, 0 0.00467. Down here, I, it has 0 0.00475. You adjust these values so that your output really matches closest to what you have on the me actual meters, voltmeters and amp meters that you actually have. This voltage value really though represents the um, current in amps. So it may come up with something like 0 0.38 amps. Well, that's what it should be. And so forth. And that completes this video. Thanks for listening.